Hello and welcome to my video comparison when it comes to lead pages versus unbalanced. We have the battle of the landing page builder. So what I'm going to do is I've already gone ahead and reviewed both of these platforms separately, but I want to give you my thoughts when it comes to the pros and cons of each and more so try to help you find the best possible landing page solution for you based upon what these tools have to offer. First and foremost, what I love about lead pages is the fact that they have so many great templates and guess what? They are about as simple as possible. You might not be winning any awards when it comes to the spiffiness of these templates, but they get the job done. Another great thing is that you can actually sort them by their conversion rate. And if you'll see, some of the best ones are in fact the simplest. They have quite the variety of them. They might not reach as many niches in terms of what Unbounce has to offer, but that's an easy switch, obviously, because you can always edit it around, change your pictures, your text, your font and so on and so forth. From there, moving on forward, their landing page builder is not too bad. Let's check it out. I've talked about previously a lot of the great things I like about it. The lead meter is excellent, as it says right here, excellent. This is a way of kind of like grading your landing page so that the higher it is, the higher the chances are that it's going to convert. And as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. And lead pages is very aware that the simpler the landing page, the higher it's going to convert. However, in terms of the pros and cons when it comes to the landing page builder, I wouldn't say it's a true drag and drop builder. And what I mean by that is you're kind of restricted where you get to drag and drop your efforts. For example, you can drop it here, you can drop it here, but I'm unable to move it over here and drag this and move it here and so on and so forth. I'll talk about more of that when it comes to Unbounce. Another great thing though about this is going to be the fact that you can create websites. It's going to be the same exact template builder that's familiar with creating landing pages that I just showed you. So that's a great little perk. I guess you could say that lead pages certainly has the leg up compared to unbounce because I don't believe they have that feature, although you could utilize landing pages and kind of turn them into a website if you wanted. Aside from that, lead pages does have some other great features. Some of them are going to include their pop-ups. However, I feel it is very limited compared to what unbounce has to offer. They offer a buffet of templates that you can utilize where it's going to be a little bit easier for you to create moving forward when you have that variety. And the same thing goes with their bars. As you can see, they have a few sections for layouts, but there's not a lot going on here. Yes, you can change your colors, your font, your text, and of course the buttons. But aside from that, you're not getting a ton to go through. So those are some of the big specifics when it comes to the pros and cons of lead pages going to Unbounce now. What I like about them is they have both the Smart Builder and the Classic, something that I've tested out, but keep in mind the Smart Builder is still in beta, so it does have a lot of ironing out to do. This is going to be a very beneficial feature for anyone who is having trouble creating a landing page where it's pretty much you tell them exactly what they do and they can spit out content and copy for your landing page based upon previous designs that have been designed to convert very well in that specific niche or business related department. Moving on from there, Unbounce has a different type of landing page templates. As you can see right here, they're more professional. They might have a lot more going on. You can see that there's going to be in a variety of niches there compared to a lot of the lead pages, ones that are more geared towards, say, like internet marketing, generating leads. But hey, like they're called lead pages for a reason, right? If you scroll through here, you can see a lot of the different types of landing pages that they have. What's well, going to be lead gen, consulting, industry specific, SaaS, ebooks, events, and so on and so forth. Like, for example, they have three for ebooks, lead pages has a ton of those as you saw by scrolling through. Aside from that, I would have to say that Unbounce has the better landing page builder. It is as smooth as butter. And as I talked about before, truly allows you to drag and drop anything you want anywhere on the page. Before I get to that, I do want to talk about the pop-ups and sticky bars. I would say that Unbounce is slightly better when it comes to these as they have much more variety as you can see. Compared to lead pages, there's not a lot, whole lot going on there. And the same thing with sticky bars. Both of these features are fabulous. I love that both of them have them, but I like for lead pages to have a little bit more because I know how much these can really increase your conversions. And it's just going to make your life so much easier when you have templates right there in front of you where you can say, I like this one. I like the colors. Now I just need to change the text or the button or whatever it's going to be. With that being said, let's take a look at the landing page editor because I really like it. I also like how they have the getting started ones. So if you're not familiar with the editor, this is a great way to get going with that. I'm going to give it a name and I'll see you inside the editor. Yeah, so here we are in their landing page editor. It's cool because it gives you a lot of instructions of what you need to do. Very similar to lead pages. You can drag and drop, but a little bit better with more freedom. Anytime you want to double click on something, you can do that or you can just go to the delete section. You know, I don't want this. Let's delete it there. This lights up anytime you need to have a section. And the cool thing is that you can, like I said before, you can drag and drop anything you want anywhere you want. Let's put a picture of me. Why not? 
I know it's going to look bad just kind of putting this in the middle of nowhere, but as I talked about before, this really allows you to put it anywhere. Compared to lead pages, if I wanted this image in a specific spot, it'd be something like here, 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 or here. I'm going to delete this for a sec just so I can show you exactly what I mean. Like this, I can move this anywhere I want. I know it's probably going to look bad if I do that, but I love the freedom of just easily being able to truly drag and drop something anywhere I want it. It's also a great addition that both of these are mobile optimized. I really love the fact that they have the mobile section here. So what you can do is move this around and you want to make sure everything is in between these blue lines. It makes it very easy to see just so you know that it's going to be mobile optimized because if it's not, you're certainly going to be losing out on some conversions as a lot of people use their mobile phones nowadays, especially when it comes to generating leads and making sales. So those are a lot of the big pros and cons, like the comparisons, the contrast when it comes to both of these. Let's take a look at the pricing. Normally, Unbounce is going to be a little bit more just to get started, but if you choose to use them, I will put a link for them down below. They do come with a free trial. If you do go through my link, you will get a bonus discount just for saying, hey, thank you for watching this video. So you get 20% off your first three months. Let's take a look at the pricings because of that. So normally it would start at 90, but for your first three months, it starts at 72. Obviously you can pay annually where you actually get 20% off your bill for the whole year. That's just something to keep in mind because it will change the pricing, but you do get up to 500 conversions. This is going to be kind of a big difference when it comes to lead pages. They give you an unlimited amount of conversions, traffic, uh, leads, landing pages, pop-ups, sticky bars, and websites are going to be limited, but you don't have to worry about with the, that with lead pages. That's something to keep in mind. You get up to 20 thousand visitors and one domain and you do get the unlimited landing pages sticky bars and pop-ups so that's just to get started optimize would be 108 and that's where going to be the a b split testing also comes in so that's kind of a smaller picture of what it's going to cost to use on bounce then on the other hand we have lead pages which is going to be slightly less they will start at 49 dollars per month just like Unbounce, you can save more if you end up paying yearly, but with standard, you get one website. And then of course you get unlimited landing pages, pop-ups, alert bars, traffic and leads, something that, you know, is going to be different when it comes to traffic and conversions in Unbounce. Okay. You get a few more things. And if you want the upgraded perks like online sales and payments and unlimited AB testing, you're going to have to go with pro, which is going to be $99 per month. So all in all, those are a lot of the basic comparisons. It's hard to say which one is really better. I like both of these. They do a lot of great things in terms of especially having a lot of great features like the AB split testing, the pop-ups, the sticky pars, the drag and drop builder. All in all, I would recommend using Unbounce if you want like a better landing page builder, better pop-ups, a better sticky bars. And I think they do have that true drag and drop builder. I like that because it really allows you to kind of move around the page, put it exactly where you want. And this is going to make your life much easier. So if that's kind of something you're looking into, Unbounce might be for you. Once again, the link, they come with a free trial is down below along with that discount. Then on the other hand, this is going to be the slightly less option, especially for the fact you can start at $49 per month. They're going to be helpful if you're looking to generate leads, especially like in the internet marketing niche and many others where you have lead magnets. Uh, they have some great templates. They also have that website factor. I'm personally not big on this in my opinion, just because I like WordPress, but this is certainly something beneficial where maybe if you just want that one website to showcase what you're all about and what you're doing, it certainly isn't going to hurt. So if those sound like good perks to you as well, I will put a link down below where you can get a free trial for lead pages as well. That's the great thing about both of these. They come with free trials. You can always test them out and make sure that they're going to be perfect for you before you actually get started in paying for them. So that concludes my comparison when it comes to unbalanced versus lead pages. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.